just thankful to wake up every morning and appreciate everything that they have. Amanda Pratt never takes any day in America for granted. This way they won't fly over you. The Richmond hairstylist counts her blessings that she escaped a nightmare. It's just beyond dreams. Sometimes I wake up thinking, is this real? 39 years ago and 9,000 miles away, Amanda and her family slipped away. There's no certainty. We just have to keep on, you know, go and move forward. The Khmer Rouge, a brutal communist regime, ruled Cambodia with an iron fist, slaughtering millions. At nine, Amanda was forced into a child labor camp. You work, you were forced to work. If you don't work fast enough, you don't get to eat. And when they feed you, barely anything. A brother and sister perished from illness and starvation. My father decided he can't risk losing any more children, so we fled Cambodia. The family fled while being hunted, trekking through minefields and waterways clogged with bodies. Some night go sleep, nothing to eat at all, and just, I want to die in my sleep to end the suffering. Death was never far. I dropped roll, I roll into a ditch, I landed on a corpse. It's probably been dead for days and fly were buzzing. Amanda and her family finally reached Thailand. This is the uh, photos of my families when we, we in a refugee camp. But the Prax wanted a better life. This is myself here and this is my father. Two years later, in August of 1981, the Prax immigrated to Richmond. We came to this country empty handed. The Prax, especially Amanda, would not waste their opportunity. People was like, whoa, Amanda's not Cambodian name. No, it's not. It's American because I am American now. <laughs> she may be American, but Amanda never forgets where she came from. The kids depending on me back home. <laughs> in 2006, she founded 100 Pounds of Hope, a nonprofit that feeds the people in her rural hometown. <laughs> and a few years ago, Amanda took the extraordinary step to nourish young minds. So this is my way of keeping those kids safe is put them in a school as an incentive to to feed them. Amanda opened a school for 400 children. Yeah, that's me. I do that work and the kid they all want to help. Her school has bathrooms and concrete floors, a luxury most of the boys and girls do not have at home. Just because I see the, how much they appreciate and when I go when the 49-year-old returns to Cambodia every year, she is welcomed like a celebrity. Oh, it's just, I, I could explain how I, I, how I feel. It just, it's just incredible. Amanda wants each boy and girl to have what was stolen from her, a childhood. I'm just resting in a hammock and they can want to come and sing for me. They're all over. Amanda Prack embodies the American dream, but she vows always to remember her roots. When I see those kids, I see myself in that situation. And uh, this is like the healing process. Amanda's nonprofit 100 Pounds of Hope and her school depend on donations and money from her own pocket to keep them running. When she's not cutting hair at her salon on Grove Avenue, Amanda is driving for Lyft to make extra cash, which she sends to Cambodia to help the children she loves so much. I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.